हेलो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ऑल माय नॉलेज पार्टनर्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मा वैन इन माय वन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई टॉक्ड अबाउट अ सिंप्लीफिकेशन और हाउ टू परफॉर्म अ रिस्क असेसमेंट इन वेरी सिंप्लीफाइड मैनर विदाउट इंडलजिंग इन मच ऑफ द यूजेज ऑफ टूल्स विदाउट गेटिंग फियर ऑफ रिस्क असेसमेंट एज अ प्रोसेस रादर देन एज ए हेल्पिंग टूल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक हाउ टू फॉर्मली डॉक्यूमेंट और फॉर्मली इम्प्लीमेंट द रिस्क असेसमेंट आउटकम्स so when when you have perform your risk assessment process by simply asking the questions what can go wrong and what are what are the my remediation plans so then we have to formally document it is for a specific process of for example manufacturing what can go wrong i can have a wrong i can receive a, a wrong material i can receive wrong quantity i can receive expired material i can receive untested material so uh, if you are finding this Four five failure modes. Then you have to have checkpoints. So what are the checkpoints? You have to check the correct product name. You have to check the expiry. You have to check the analytical test number. You have to check whether it is released by QC or not. Okay, you have checked it. Or what tells you to check it? So person cannot remember what to check. So somewhere you have to formally make it a part of part of process where to check. it can be your sop it can be your batch manufacturing record in batch manufacturing record you put the checklist or checkpoints okay, when you receive the material you have to check these four five things and if everything is meeting the criteria then you can use that material for the manufacturing process so this is the simplest way of doing a risk assessment and implementing the action plan out of the risk assessment for the complex processes for the complex equipment for example we will take a example of equipment freeze dryer there are lot of machineries lot of instrument lot of equipment within the freeze dryer which are there for example it has a refrigeration system it has a vacuum system it has a circulation system it has a lot of sensor lot of valve so how do you perform risk assessment for such a critical equipment let's talk check all the take one equipment at a time one sub component at a time for example vacuum pump what happens if the vacuum pump fails what you can do are we have a detection mechanism if the vacuum pump fails yes we have detection mechanism for the vacuum pump we have vacuum sensors if you have one pump and it is failing then it can impact your cycle so how do you prevent that failure you can have two vacuum pumps so one if it is one is failed then second vacuum pump can take care and you can have three also based on your size of your freeze dryer so if one fails or if you need two to achieve the desired eco, uh, desired vacuum level with the size of your freeze dryer or life filizer third can be a backup same goes with the refrigeration system to cool the system you need refrigeration system or compressors so you can have two or three compressors so if one fails or two fails the third one can take care of, take care of your cooling so this is how we define fail safe mechanism for our critical equipment i will be making more videos such videos about risk assessment process how you can identify risk and how you can have a remediation plan for the each risk identified Thank you thank you very much for watching my video and if you like you can subscribe to my channel Pharmaven thank you